Hey everyone, it's Rose. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my 2021 reading stats, and I'm also going to be sharing my 2022 reading goals. If you see me looking down a lot, it's because I'm reading off of my paper. So first I'm going to tell you how many books I read, which it's a crazy number for me. Did not think that I was going to get anywhere near it. So my goal was to read 30 books. I read 41, so that came out to about 10,200 pages. I had 11 5-star books, 15 4-stars, 6 3-stars, 4 2-star, and no 1-star books. Four of the books that I read this year I did not give a rating. My average rating for the year was 3.9, so I pretty much enjoyed most of what I was reading, which is a good thing. I read 15 male authors and 19 female authors, and I actually read one non-binary author. Um, this year I do plan to read more from LGBT authors. And I actually have quite a few books that, like, like in on my bookshelf that I could read, which I didn't realize until, like, the other day. <laughs> I read... 33 physical books, 3 audiobooks, and 5 ebooks, which is very interesting because I definitely thought I read more audiobooks than ebooks. Maybe it's because I started a bunch of audiobooks but didn't commit to like finishing the book that way. It, that makes sense. Um, for the genres of books that I read, I read 11 romance, 4 thrillers, 6 nonfiction, 7 fantasy books and 13 fiction which there's like a bunch of subcategories that go with fiction but I didn't really feel like figuring that out. Most of it was contemporary. The shortest book that I read this year was In a Dark Dark Room by Alvin Schwartz. It's 64 pages. It's like one of those books for kids who are learning how to read. I read it to try to get myself out of a reading slump and it didn't really work. The longest book that I read last year was the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This is 444 pages. The most popular book that I read was Holes. 1.4 million other people read this book. And the least popular book that I read last year was Daylight Chasers by Bruce Sparks. 80 other people have read this book. The first book that I read last year was Coraline and the last book I read last year was Out of Love. Both I gave like five stars I think. Actually, no, I think I only gave this one four stars. But either way, I still started and ended the year with a book that I enjoyed, which is good. So the last time I did this video, at the like after I shared all of my stats, I like showed every single book that I read. I'm not going to do that this year. I just, I don't feel like editing that part, so I'm not going to do it. But I do want to show you a few of my favorites from the year. Heartstopper Volumes 2 and 3, No Exit by Taylor Adams, Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab, Daylight Chasers by Ruth Sparks, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, and Out of Love by Hazel Hayes. I almost forgot to tell you about like how many books I read per month because that's always something interesting to go over. <laughs> um, but the um, most amount of books I read in a month was in November I read nine books which I've never read nine books in one month there was five months where I only read one book but this year I didn't have any months where I didn't read any books I remember in 2020 there was like three months I think where I didn't read anything so I'm glad that didn't happen to me in 2021 <laughs> so those were the stats now I want to talk about my goals for this year. This year I want to try to read 40 books. Like if I don't read 40, not a huge deal. If I read more than 40, that's great. This year I want to read more of what I love, which is romance. I remember last year I like spent a good portion of the year trying to keep myself from reading romance. I don't know why I did that. I was like... I was like, just don't read as much romance. But, like, if that's what I want to read, then I'm going to read it. And it's my favorite genre, so, like, why wouldn't I read it, you know? So, this year I'm going to read a little bit more romance than I have in the past couple years. Um, and I also want to read more books from Book of the Month because I am subscribed to them. 
and I've only ever read like two or three books that I ever received from them and I have like 20. Yeah I need to I need to get those read. I also want to read more books from LGBT authors or books about LGBT characters as well as authors of color or books that are about people of color so like not just straight up white people and then lastly I really just want to focus on my physical TBR just focus on the books that I already own I did the math I did the math I own 246 books and 78% of those books are unread and I just keep buying more like I failed to mention in my stats portion of this video that I hauled 73 books last year anyways <laughs> um, I want to focus on reading the books that I already own like I'll probably use audiobooks and ebooks to help me out with that but like I'm not going to go buy more books and read those books instead you know and honestly my shelves are maxed out like if I did buy another book I wouldn't have a spot for it on my shelf I would just have to like start a pile somewhere so those are the goals this year I did make a TBR for this year but I didn't put like a million books on it like I did last year I put five books on this list I might add a sixth book because honestly I've already read two of them I guess I'll just talk about the ones that I read already I put Heartstopper volume 4 on my TBR. I actually just finished this last night. And then also Shiver by Genji Ito. Um, this is horror manga collection of short stories. There's nine stories. Yeah, I read this one already as well. I finished it last night as well. So the other three books on my TBR. Um, the first one is Birthday by Meredith Russo. This is like my favorite book of all time and I want to reread it. But yeah, if, if I'm going to reread a book this year, it's going to be this one because this one's my favorite. Then I have Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I have the deluxe edition. It's stunning. And it has deckled edges, which is awesome. That's on my TBR. Like, it's been on a, um, a few of my TBRs and I just never get around to reading it. I think I, ha I have... I have an issue with classics apparently like I always say that I want to read them and then I don't um, and then the last book on my TBR is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara I need to cry about something else other than the things that I've been crying about lately so I think this book will do just that for me like there's a lot that happens in here, so I've heard. The amount of reading vlogs that I've seen centered around this book. I'm, it's going to take me a couple months to read this. And, like, it's 800 pages. I'm sure you already know. But, yeah, this is on my TBR. I'm terrified. Probably might not even read it this year because that's just how I operate. If a book is on my TBR, it won't get read. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I will have my Instagram and my Goodreads linked in the description. Which, by the way, if you did want to know which books I read this year, then you can go to my Goodreads. All of it. It's all there. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.